All right, guys, so I managed to fix all the issues and all the wiring problems with my uh, you know, autonomous uh, slash remote controlled uh, robot car here. So first I had it in this like really small uh, plate here. It was like really, really small, like when compared to, you know, like look at the size in that comparison. Now we have much more space and we can handle all these wires coming through much, much better, okay? But uh, right here is the battery connector. So if we connect this here, it's gonna start, it's gonna start, so you can see it starts moving. Let me just, uh, I'm putting it through the wrong thing, so. Yes, you can see it's gonna, I'm gonna put it all the way, but yeah, you can see it starts moving. Uh, I don't really wanna put it all the way because then it, you know, it starts going crazy. I mean, you know, some things are a little loose because all this wiring is crazy. We want to make this remote controlled. So we're gonna use two joysticks, I think. Uh, I, you know, I haven't really looked into this. I don't really know how I'm gonna, I don't know, I think mapping it is, is not that bad, but I don't know like how I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep control with the Y and X, right? But you know, I have to see like how I'm gonna, you know, if I need two, if I only need one. I need to look into that. It's not only going to be remote controlled, I also wanna make this autonomous, okay? So we're gonna use this ultrasonic sensor here, and we're probably gonna put it, I don't know, you know, over here in the front. And, you know, we're gonna have this, you know, turret here. It's not gonna be this big, you know, we're probably gonna take all this part off. You know, we only need one servo that rotates, you know, that like rotates like this. Implements a distance, uh, you know, or, you know, an object detection algorithm so that we can detect the objects and then move accordingly, okay? Hope you stick around for later.